Laudetur Jesus Christus. Praise be Jesus Christ. And welcome one and all to this live broadcast of the Holy Thursday Mass of the Lord's Supper, celebrated by Pope Francis. And very prayerful best wishes to all of you as we begin the Sacred Triduum for this year. This evening, our Holy Father, Pope Francis, is celebrating the sacred liturgy uh, at the Castle del Marmo juvenile prison in Rome. That's a tradition of the Pope to celebrate amongst, uh, with people on the margins of society on these uh, Holy Thursday Masses of the Lord's Supper. In particular, it gives him an opportunity to invite them to take part in the mandatum, the ritual of the washing of the feet, which takes place during this evening's Mass. The Holy Father will be washing the feet of 12 young people during this evening's celebration, uh, as it is in a prison. It is an invitation-only Mass with a very uh, small congregation uh, of people. Um, but nonetheless, as always, the sacred liturgy is has a universal public character. The Holy Father is uh, celebrating, and of course we're broadcasting the liturgy to uh, offer the opportunity to celebrate in heart and spirit with our Holy Father and with the congregation present here in the juvenile prison. On behalf of Vatican Media, I would like to welcome all of you once again as we begin and ahead of the beginning of the liturgy. Welcome to all those joining us through the various Vatican News channels, whether through the Vatican News web portal, Facebook Live, or YouTube accounts. To all of you joining us through television stations and radio stations around the world, including Catholic TV, Catholic Faith Network, Shalom World Television Networks, USA, EWTN TV, Shalom TV India, Sh uh, Sunday Shalom, Uganda Catholic Television, UCTV, Salt and Light TV out of Canada, Atmadarshan TV in India, or Luminous Radio in India, And to all those joining us through radio stations around the world, welcome one and all. Also worth noting, in the recent past, the Holy See has been making a very strong effort to reach out to different communities around the world, including uh, the deaf or hard of hearing. The liturgy is being uh, broadcast with a video feed that features sign language, both American Sign Language and Italian Sign Language. You can find that on our Vatican Media YouTube channels. And as we begin our liturgy momentarily, just to introduce myself, my name is Christopher Wells. It's my pleasure to provide you with the English language commentary, texts, and translations of this Holy Thursday liturgy. We are expecting the Holy Father to give his homily off the cuff extemporaneously, uh, which means we will not have a word-for-word -word translation of the Holy Father's uh, homily, but I will be providing a broad summary of what the Holy Father is saying. You'll also be able to find our news story on the Pope's homily on our Vatican News Media uh, portal on our website uh, later this evening. And the Holy See will publish the text of the Holy Father's homily, even in English, later today. Earlier today, many of you may have seen the Chrism Mass celebrated by Pope Francis with Pope Francis presiding in St. Peter's Basilica earlier this morning.
in a particular way the chrism mass celebrates the priesthood and there was a large number of clergy present for the mass this morning with the holy father during the chrism mass the holy father uh, urged priests to invoke the holy spirit not only occasionally as an act of piety but as the breath of each day he also thanked priests for their service which often goes unrecognized and offered his reflections on the role of the Holy Spirit, especially in the life of priests. Also at the Mass for uh, the Blessing of the Chrism, the Holy Father blessed the oils that will be used for the sacraments and for various blessings in the church. The oil of catechumens, the oil of the sick, and the sacred chrism. That is very much a ceremony uh, that involves the local church as those oils will then be distributed to the various parishes of the Diocese of Rome after been having blessed by their bishop, the Pope, our Holy Father, Pope Francis. The Pope is, of course, the Bishop of Rome and is not only the Holy Father for the Universal Church, but in a special way, the uh, Father and Pastor and Guide of the local church here in Rome. This evening's Mass is the Mass in Cena Domini of the Lord's Supper, which is especially focused on the institution of the Holy Eucharist and the events of the Last Supper. As we begin our celebration of the Paschal Mystery, yesterday on Spy Wednesday, we heard in the reading the agreement between Judas and the chief priests and the elders of the Jewish community in Jerusalem. At the time of the New Testament, when Judas agreed to betray Jesus, this evening knowing what was to come, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ celebrated the Paschal, the, the Passover dinner with his disciples, went out to the Garden of Gethsemane, was betrayed by Judas and delivered into custody and the passion and suffering of our Lord and his ultimate crucifixion followed on Good Friday all looking ahead, of course, to the celebration of Easter when we commemorate the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Particular note during this evening's ceremony, we mentioned earlier the Holy Father will be uh, taking part in the ceremony of the washing of feet known as the mandatum following the command of the Lord to wash one another's feet. That's done ceremonially during this Mass with 12 young people who have been selected to uh, represent all of the disciples of Jesus. As many of you probably know, the Holy Father has had uh, some health concerns recently, and notably uh, over the past year he has had a great deal of trouble with his knee. The ceremoniers and the planners of the liturgy have provided for, uh, have provided 
for the ceremony in such a way that they want to make that ceremony as easy for pos as possible for the Holy Father, so we won't have to bend over so much. Uh, but we will see if the Holy Father is able to do that or if he will have another uh, person perform that particular ceremony. And we now hear the liturgy beginning as look where he will be presiding at this sacred liturgy. As Mass starts, I would like to uh, welcome all of those joining us on Motovisione. And uh, now uh, joining us for the live celebration of the Solemn Liturgy, the Sacred Mass of the Lord's Supper, the Mass in Chena Domini for Holy Thursday 2023. Welcome to those joining us via Motovisione. Nel nome del Padre, del Figlio e dello Spirito Santo. 
la pace sia con voi. E con il tuo spirito. Fratelli e sorelle, all'inizio di questa celebrazione eucaristica invochiamo la misericordia di Dio, fonte di riconciliazione e di comunione. We begin with the penitential act and the Kyrielism. Che hai lavato i piedi ai discepoli perché avessero parte con te, Kyrieleison. Kyrieleison. Cristo, che sei il pane della vita disceso dal cielo perché viviamo in eterno, Cristo eleison. Cristo eleison. Signori, che nei tuo che nel tuo sangue ti sei fatto garante della nuova ed eterna alleanza, Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Dio onnipotente abbia misericordia di voi, perdoni i vostri peccati e ci conduca alla vita eterna. The opening prayer. O oh God, who have called us to, to participate in the most sacred supper, in which your only begotten Son, when about to hand himself over to death, entrusted to the Church a sacrifice new for all eternity, the banquet of his love, grant, we pray, that we may draw from so great a mystery the fullness of charity and of life, through our Lord Jesus Christ, thy Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The first reading this evening is from the book of Exodus, chapter 12, verses 1 through 8 and 11 through 14. Prima lettura dal libro dell'Esodo. In quei giorni il Signore disse a Mosè, In those days the Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, This month shall stand at the head of your calendar. You shall reckon it the first month of the year. Tell the whole community of Israel, On the tenth of this month, every one of your families must procure for itself a lamb, one apiece for each household. 
If a family is too small for a whole lamb, it shall join the nearest household in procuring one, and shall share in the lamb in proportion to the number of persons who partake of it. This lamb must be a year old male, and without blemish. You may take it from either the sheep or the goats. You shall keep it until the fourteenth day of this month, and then, with the whole assembly of Israel present, it shall be slaughtered during the evening twilight. They shall take some of its blood and apply it to the two doorposts and the lintel of every house in which they partake of the lamb. That same night they shall eat its roasted flesh with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. This is how you are to eat it, with your loins girt, sandals on your feet, and your staff in hand. You shall eat like those who are in flight. It is the Passover of the Lord. For on this same night I will go through Egypt, striking down every firstborn of the land, both man and beast, and executing judgment on all the gods of Egypt. I, the Lord, but the blood will mark the houses where you are, Seeing the blood, I will pass over you. Thus, when I strike the land of Egypt, no destructive blow will come upon you. This day shall be a memorial feast for you, which all your generations shall celebrate with pilgrimage to the Lord as a perpetual institution. Io vedrò il sangue e passerò oltre. Non vi sarà tra voi flagello di sterminio quando io colpirò la terra d'Egitto. Questo giorno sarà per voi un memoriale. Lo celebrerete come festa del Signore, di generazione in generazione. Lo celebrerete come un rito perenne. Parola di Dio. The responsorial psalm response, Your chalice, O Lord, is the gift of salvation. The psalm is taken from Psalm 116. Io sono tuo servo, figlio della tua schiava. Tu hai spezzato le mie catene. Il tuo calice, Signore, è dono di salvezza. A te offrirò un sacrificio di ringraziamento e invocherò il nome del Signore. Adempirò i miei voti al Signore davanti a tutto il suo popolo. Il tuo calice, Signore, è dono di salvezza. Dalla prima lettera di San Paolo, Apostolo ai Corinzi. Fratelli, io ho ricevuto dal Signore... The second reading is from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was handed over, took bread, and after he had given thanks, broke it and said, this is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, also the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes. Voi annunciate la morte del Signore finché Egli venga. Parola di Dio. The Gospel and Fun, I give you a new commandment, says the Lord. Love one another as I have loved you. Do un comandamento nuovo, dice il Signore. Come io ho amato voi, così amatevi anche voi, gli uni gli altri. 
The Holy Gospel is taken from the Gospel of St. John, chapter 13, verses 1 through 15. Prima della festa di Pasqua, Gesù, Before the Feast of Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to pass from this world to the Father. He loved his own in the world, and he loved them to the end. The devil had already induced Judas, the son of Simon the Iscariot, to hand him over. So, during supper, fully aware that the Father had put everything into his power, and that he had come from God and was returning to God, he rose from supper and took off his outer garments. He took a towel and tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and dry them with the towel around his waist. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Master, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered and said to him, What I am doing you do not understand now, but you will understand later. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, Unless I wash you, you will have no inheritance with me. Simon Peter said to him, Master, then not only my feet, but my hands and head as well. Jesus said to him, Whoever has bathed has no need except to have his feet washed, for he is clean all over. So you are clean, but not all. For he knew who would betray him. For this reason he said, Not all of you are clean. So when he had washed their feet and put his garments back on and reclined at table again, he said to them, Do you realize what I have done for you? You call me teacher and master, and rightly so, for indeed I am. If I, therefore, the master and teacher, have washed your feet, you ought to wash one another's feet. I have given you a model to follow, so that as I have done for you, you should also do. Vi ho dato un esempio, infatti, perché anche voi facciate come io ho fatto a voi. Parola del Signore. Attira l'attenzione come Gesù, proprio il giorno prima di essere crocifisso, fa questo gesto. Jesus performed this gesture before his passion. Le abitudini in quel tempo, perché le strade erano dal polvo, la gente veniva da fuori, e all'entrare in una casa, prima del banchetto de, della riunione, si lavavano i piedi. Ma there was, he mentions that there was custom at the time of Jesus to wash the feet of people uh, because they walked everywhere and they had gotten their feet very dirty. But this was the role of a slave. Uh, and it's a gesture that conveys the message of tomorrow when Jesus died uh, as a slave to pay for our sins. Uh, 
è tanto bello aiutare uno all'altro, no? Dare la mano, eh. sono gesti umani. It's a very human gesture to help one another. E Gesù oggi con questa celebrazione And Jesus, today with this celebration, and teaches us nobility to take us by the hand. So our lives will not be quite so difficult. And he makes this uh, gesture of washing the feet. But it's not, uh, it's not just a fairy tale. Uh, it tells us uh, something about what we ought to be doing. In society we see many people who profit off of others. Quanta gente che non ha i soldi per comprare i, i, le medicine, quante famiglie distrutte, tante cose brutte, no? There are so many terrible things in this world. E nessuno di noi può dire, io grazie a Dio non sono, sai, eh? Se io non sono così è per la grazia di Dio, eh? Ognuno di noi può scivolare, ognuno di noi. Each one of us uh, can fall, each one of us can slip. Quello che ci dà la dignità, ascoltate la parola, la dignità di essere peccatori. E que- e and he speaks about the dignity, and it's a paradoxical dignità, word, but the dignity of being a sinner. Per voi, per voi. Because God came to save us and save you. Come un ricordo di questo che Gesù ci ha insegnato, aiutare gli uni gli altri. And so we are invited and called to help one another. During the washing of the feet, think about the fact that Jesus has saved me, that Jesus washed my feet. Jesus is always close to you. He will never abandon you, never. And now the Holy Father, after a, a brief uh, homily, will uh, commence the ceremony of the washing of the feet. Again, there is difficulty. Uh, the Holy Father has had some difficulty with his knees, but he's always been uh, very committed uh, to work through uh, the pain and the difficulties that he's experienced. Uh, many people know last week he was in the hospital briefly uh, with some difficulties, uh, bronchitis, uh, but uh, always, always committed and dedicated to uh, doing everything he can uh, in fulfillment of his ministry and his office. young people chosen for the washing of the feet uh, are indeed all the people who will take part in this ritual today in different churches throughout the world uh, in some ways represent the disciples of the past and those of the present in all our vulnerability that is they represent all of humanity uh, who needs to be cleansed and washed by the Lord Each of the people present, uh, the Holy Father pours a little bit of uh, water over the right foot of the person in front of him. 
He then wipes it with a towel. Again, it's a ceremonial washing. Then wipes it with a towel, dries it off their foot, and bends down a little bit to kiss the foot of the person in front of him of, in a gesture of humility. It, the idea of, of washing the feet of guests is perhaps something that is not terribly common in the modern world, but even today this ceremony of kissing the feet, we can recognize that kissing someone else's foot requires a great deal of humility and it is a gesture that is very out of the ordinary. And of course the church performs this ritual precisely in imitation of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, who gave this ritual to us as an example for us and to symbolize how we should be willing to bend down and serve our brothers and sisters in any way that we can. mostly in Latin, they are chosen for this ceremony in this Mass. Uh, to serve and to reign. Our charity is true and sincere, God is there. of other hymns included that the choir will continue to sing as the Holy Father washes the feet of the young people uh, here in this ceremony. And as our Holy Father concludes the sermon with people, it's certainly one of the moments in his ministry when he really livens up and brightens up when he has an opportunity to, to speak with people, so to speak, in real life uh, outside of his formal remarks. And having washed the feet of each of these 12 young people, the Holy Father, uh, in a ceremony that is very deliberately designed to imitate the actions of Jesus. Uh, the Holy Father will take off the towel that had been uh, wrapped around his waist that he used to dry the feet of uh, the young people 
and like Jesus puts back on the external garments for the celebration of the Mass. And as that is happening, I will continue to listen to the choir. Dearest brothers and sisters, we raise our prayers to Jesus who gave himself for us, loving us with his whole self. Let us pray together, saying, Hear us, O Lord. That's a response for each of the bidding prayers. O Lord, Always accompany the Holy Church and Pope Francis in the service of charity towards all people. Let us pray. Grant us yet again, O Lord, holy priests who will renew each day the mystery of the Eucharist. Let us pray. Persuade, O Lord, the hearts of rulers to seek the true good and peace with tenacity. Let us pray. Comfort, O Lord, those who live in pain, in despair, or in loneliness. Let us pray. Reach out with your grace, O Lord, to our families and friends, and sustain them in hope. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, who in the hour of agony experienced betrayal and abandonment, grant us always your sweet company. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. now continue with the liturgy of the Eucharist. With the bread and wine that will be offered and consecrated and will become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ brought in procession to Pope Francis. is provided for in the ceremonial for bishops. Our Holy Father Pope Francis is presiding at the Eucharist, uh, which is being celebrated by the chaplain of the prison, Don Niccolo Ciaccolini. Pregate, fratelli e sorelle, perché il mio e vostro sacrificio sia gradito a Dio, Padre Onnipotente. Signore, 
Concedi a noi, tuoi fedeli, o oh Padre, di partecipare con viva fede ai santi misteri, poiché ogni volta che celebriamo questo memoriale del sacrificio del tuo Figlio, si compie l'opera della nostra redenzione. Per Cristo nostro Signore. Amen. Il Signore sia con voi. In alto i nostri cuori. Rendiamo grazie al Signore nostro Dio. È veramente cosa buona e giusta, nostro dovere e fonte di salvezza, rendere grazie sempre e in ogni luogo a te, Signore Padre Santo, Dio Onnipotente ed Eterno, per Cristo, Signore nostro. Sacerdote vero ed eterno, Egli istituì il rito del sacrificio perenne. A te per primo si offrì vittima di salvezza e comandò a noi di compiere l'offerta in sua memoria. Il suo corpo per noi immolato è nostro cibo e ci dà forza. Il suo sangue per noi versato è la bevanda che ci redime da ogni colpa. Per questo mistero di salvezza, il cielo e la terra si uniscono in un cantico nuovo di adorazione e di lode. E noi, con tutti gli angeli del cielo, proclamiamo senza fine la tua gloria. And that was the preface of the Most Holy Eucharist. A small correction, the celebrant at the altar is Monsignor Diego Revelli. And my apologies for that. Monsignor Ravelli is the uh, master of liturgical, celebra uh, liturgical celebrations, the, uh, uh, the Pope's master of ceremonies. Veramente santo, sei tuo padre fonte di ogni santità. Ti preghiamo. Santifica questi doni con la rugiada del tuo spirito. The Eucharistic prayer is Eucharistic prayer number two. You are indeed holy, O Lord. Del Signore nostro Gesù Cristo. Egli, in questa notte, consegnandosi volontariamente alla passione, prese il pane, rese grazie, lo spezzò, lo diede ai suoi discepoli e disse: Prendete e mangiatene tutti. Questo è il mio corpo offerto in sacrificio per voi. Allo stesso modo, dopo aver cenato, prese il calice. Di nuovo ti rese grazie. Lo diede ai suoi discepoli e disse «Prendete e bevetene tutti. Questo è il calice del mio sangue per la nuova ed eterna alleanza, versato per voi e per tutti in remissione dei peccati. Fate questo in memoria di me».
mistero della fede. Celebrando il memoriale della morte e risurrezione del tuo figlio, ti offriamo, Padre, il pane della vita e il calice della salvezza, e ti rendiamo grazie, perché ci hai resi degni di stare alla tua presenza a compiere il servizio sacerdotale. Ti preghiamo umilmente per la comunione al corpo e al sangue di Cristo, lo Spirito Santo ci riunisca in un solo corpo. Ricordati, Padre, della Tua Chiesa diffusa su tutta la terra e qui convocata nel giorno santissimo nel quale Gesù Cristo, nostro Signore, fu consegnato alla morte per noi. Rendila perfetta nell'amore in unione con il nostro Papa Francesco, i presbiteri e i diaconi. Ricordati anche dei nostri fratelli e sorelle, che si sono addormentati nella speranza della risurrezione e nella Tua misericordia di tutti i defunti. Ammettili alla luce del Tuo volto. Di noi tutti abbi misericordia. Donaci di aver parte alla vita eterna, insieme con la Beata Maria, Vergine e Madre di Dio, San Giuseppe, suo Sposo, gli Apostoli e tutti i Santi che in ogni tempo Ti furono graditi, e in Gesù Cristo, tuo Figlio, canteremo la tua lode e la tua gloria. Per Cristo, con Cristo e in Cristo, a te, Dio Padre Onnipotente, nell'unità dello Spirito Santo, per, ogni, per tutti i secoli dei secoli, After the great Amen, be our Father. E formati al suo divino insegnamento, osiamo dire. Padre nostro, che sei nei cieli, sia santificato il tuo nome, venga il tuo regno, sia fatta la tua volontà, come in cielo, così in terra. Dacci oggi il nostro pane quotidiano e rimetti a noi i nostri debiti, come anche noi li rimettiamo ai nostri debitori, e non abbandonarci alla tentazione, ma liberaci dal male. Liberaci, o oh Signore, da tutti i mali, concedi la pace ai nostri giorni, e con l'aiuto della Tua misericordia vivremo sempre liberi dal peccato e sicuri da ogni turbamento, nell'attesa che si compia la beata speranza e venga il nostro Salvatore, Gesù Cristo. Signore Gesù Cristo, che hai detto ai tuoi Apostoli, vi lascio la pace, vi do la mia pace. Non guardare ai nostri peccati, ma alla fede della tua Chiesa, e donale unità e pace secondo la tua volontà. Tu che vivi e regni nei secoli dei secoli, la pace del Signore sia sempre con voi. The sign of peace. Ecco l'agnello di Dio. Ecco colui che toglie i peccati del mondo. Beati gli invitati alla cena dell'agnello. 
nessun degno di partecipare alla tua mensa, ma di soltanto una parola che io sarò salvo. And after the and you stay the Lamb of God, we have the distribution of Holy Communion. And we pause for a moment of silent reflection at the conclusion of the distribution of Holy Communion. Blessed Sacrament is taken from the chapel to the place of repose.
as the celebration of the sacred liturgy is coming to its end. The prayer after communion grant, Almighty God, that just as we are renewed by the supper of your Son in this present age, so we may enjoy his banquet for all eternity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The final blessing. Ora e sempre. In nostro aiuto e nel nome del Signore. Egli ha fatto cielo e terra. Vi benedica Dio Onipotente, Padre, Figlio e Spirito Santo. La Messa è finita, andiamo in pace. And with the final blessing and salutation, the Holy Mass in Cena Domini, the Mass of the Supper of the Lord, comes to an end. The Holy Father venerates the altar as the choir sings a concluding hymn. Once again, the Mass this evening was presided over by Pope Francis, the celebrant. was Monsignor Diego Revelli, the Papal Master of Ceremonies. And as we listen to the concluding hymn, a few notes on the next couple of days. We do invite you to join us for the live broadcast of the various events of the Sacred Triduum and of the beginning of the Easter season. Tomorrow afternoon at 5 p.m. Rome time, our Holy Father will preside at the celebration of the Passion of the Lord, the Sacred Liturgy for Good Friday. That will take place in St. Peter's Basilica. Again, that will start at 5 p.m. Rome time. Tomorrow night, Pope Francis will travel into the heart of Rome, to the Colosseum, where he will preside at the celebration of the Via Crucis, the Way of the Cross. Always a very, very moving event, uh, held in the darkness of the night on Good Friday, in which we pray and meditate upon the moments of our Lord's Passion and death upon the cross for our salvation. The following day, Holy Saturday, is the most important and significant liturgy of the whole year, the celebration of the Easter Vigil, celebrating the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The Holy Father will again be presiding. That will take place at 7.30 p.m. on Holy Saturday. We'll come back to that in a moment. As we return to the juvenile prison where the Holy Father is celebrating Mass, has just finished celebrating Mass, and is greeted with a few words uh, from those present. Quindi pensavo di dover far ricorso a parole che la mente mi dettasse in modo ricercato e invece semplicemente quelle che sgorgano dal cuore le più importanti che le, vogliamo, che le voglio rivolgere a nome di tutti quanti. E il suo sorriso per noi è una carezza. 
Uh, your smile for us is a very sweet uh, grace for us, which encourages us in all the daily uh, difficulties that we encounter. The example that you have given is a gift that uh, shows us the daily path we should take, that of going out to all uh, to embrace them, to take them by the hand, to lift them up, to think well of others without distinction, seeking within ourselves the strength uh, to give ourselves to others. And so I want to thank you sincerely for, uh, from all of us. We will continue to uh, be grateful for this moment throughout our lives. And uh, we pray uh, together with and for you and for peace in the world. Thank you uh, very much, uh, Holy Father. And uh, she's able to exchange a few words of uh, greeting with the Holy Father. Uh, and offer him uh, a letter. The Holy Father, uh, as we've mentioned before, is always very happy to have an opportunity to speak informally with people, to smile and greet them and to be present with them, to hear their stories. Uh, and to, to share their experiences. And one thing those who have met him uh, have said, uh, the Holy Father is always uh, very interested in what people have to say. He meets many, many people every day and yet is always available to them. He always takes time when they want to say a few words for them. He gives them as much time as he can and he gives them uh, his attention. Uh, his courtesy, his words. And with that final uh, expression of gratitude, our Holy Father, Pope Francis, is uh, taken from the altar in the chapel of the Castle del Marmo Juvenile Prison. With a round of applause from those present as he departs which is a bit of a custom here in Rome, especially with the Holy Father. And as the Holy Father departs to return to the Vatican, our live broadcast of the Mass in Cena Domini for, for the Lord's Supper is drawing to a close. As always, we invite you to visit our Vatican News web portal, as well as our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter accounts for a summary of today's Mass and the homily as well as other coverage of Vatican and world news. Later this evening, we will also have the text of the whole, the full text of the Holy Father's homily available in the original Italian first and later on in various languages, including English. You'll be able to find that at the Holy See website. Many thanks this evening to our partner stations, including Catholic TV, Catholic Faith Network, Shalom World Television Networks, USA, EWTN TV, Shalom TV India, Shalom uh, Sunday Shalom, Uganda Catholic Television, UCTV, Salt and Light TV, Atmadarshan TV India, and Luminous Radio India, as well as the countless local broadcasters around the world who send out this live broadcast. Thanks to, to our expert sound engineers and technicians who make these broadcasts possible. Finally, thanks to all of you for joining us this evening. On behalf of Vatican Media and Vatican News and Vatican Radio, I'd like to invite you to join us for the celebration of the Lord's Passion tomorrow, Good Friday, as we mentioned uh, a few moments ago. That begins at 5 p.m. Rome time. And to all of you, uh, on my own behalf and on behalf of all those uh, workers, with me, a very blessed and fruitful Easter Triduum. Laudetur Jesus Christus. Praise be Jesus Christ.